Today, in this video, we are going to discuss how to create our own backend and create APIs using Node.js and then integrate into our Flutter application. So watch this video till the end so you can understand the whole process and if you are new to the channel, subscribe and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, if you don't know what is API, then API means application programming interface, which allows two applications to talk to each other. I have created a whole series about REST APIs. You can watch it for more details. Link will be available in description and also in the i button and also it's required to access our backend. So after that, let's understand what is Node.js. Okay, so Node.js is an open source and cross platform JavaScript runtime environment to run JavaScript outside the web browser. It is used to build scalable applications, web APIs and hybrid applications. It is based on Chrome's which is a web browser v8 engine javascript was meant to be run only in browsers but using node.js we can run the javascript outside the browser as you can see this is our visual studio code which is also using the node.js technology and we can use it outside our web browser as an application okay so let's start building our server so we can create apis and access the data for that first of all you need to go to a website which is node.js.org means organization and in here you need to download the node.js so you can download this recommended for most users and this is the latest version but it will be suitable for you so just download it i have already downloaded so as you can see this is our node.js which is version 14 because i had the old version so no problem this is the latest version which is 18.13 Okay, so after downloading, you need to install it. Just double click it and the installation will start. And in here, you need to click next, accept, next. And after that, you need to give the path you want to install. So I will keep the default and after that, next. And in here, you need to check this add to path. So it will be like this. And after that, just press next. Okay, so after that, if you want to install the necessary tools, which are Python and Visual Studio build tools, you can check this, but I won't. So I will uncheck it and click next and install. So it will install the Node.js on my system. So just wait for it. Okay, so Node.js is installed. Just press the finish. And now to check if it is installed completely, just go to run. And in here type cmd which will open a command prompt and in here you need to type node and after that version and just press enter and this will return means the version of your node.js will return okay so after our node.js is installed let's create a folder so i will go to the path okay so here this is my flutter tutorials in which i create all the tutorial and post so i will just create a new folder here and i will name it as node and tutorial or i can say node server and just press enter and now we need to open this folder into our vs code so just drag and drop so now we are inside our node server folder and in here we need to go to the terminal so just go to terminal so let me just maximize okay so in here you need to type npm which is node package manager and after npm just press init okay so we got the error that npm is not recognized means we just installed the node.js and now we need to restart our app system not application our whole system okay so after restarting my system if i say npm and now i can see all this okay just clear it and if you are still getting that issue, you need to go to your environment. So just type environment here, edit environment, environment variables. And in here, you need to go to the path. And in here, you need to paste your node.js directory path here. As you can see, this is C program files slash node.js slash. You need to enter the path where you have installed your node.js and just press enter. 
and after that go to the path in your system variables and in here you need to paste the same after that you can use it so okay so after that we need to say npm in it and just press enter so now as you can see the package name is node server so just press enter and the variant is 1.0 enter and now you can pass the description if you want so i will keep it as empty and after that entry point will be index.js okay test commands no after that git repository will be empty keywords will be empty author will be empty license okay so after that we need to say is this okay and i will just press yes okay so as you can see we have created a package dot json in which we have these some commands you can say this is a map in which these are the keys and values so after that we need to install a package so go back to the terminal and in here let me just maximize it okay so in here you need to say npm i express so it will install the express package so just press enter the package is same as that dependency you add in your flutter application okay so as you can see the express package is installed and now we can use it and we also have a file named node modules in which we have all these files which we won't use for now okay so after adding this dependency we need to go to our folder and in here we need to create a file so the file just as our main dot dot we need to create js index dot js means it will be our entry point so just say index dot js okay so in this file we need to use our express package so just say require means it's required for the whole process and after that we need to store the result in a variable so i will say const and name it express okay so whatever returns we are storing it in the express and after that let's create another so it will be const app and it will be equal to our express so whatever returns from this express we are initializing our app and now we can use this app variable to create our backend so just say app dot listen and in here we need to pass a method so as you can see this is a callback and after that we need to pass a method so in here we need to enter the port number so i will just say um, 2000 and after that we need to pass a method so it will be an anonymous method and in here we need to say console.log so in flutter we say print but in js or in web browser we need to say console.log and in here we need to say connected to server at 2000 and just save it okay now let's just remove it okay so this will start our server just save it and now you need to go to the terminal clear it and now say node index.js enter and now we need to allow so just allow access connected to server at 2000 is written here so if i go to my browser okay so in our browser we need to say localhost and after that use colon and after that you need to type your port number which is 2000 and just press enter so as you can see cannot get so it means our server is running just go back to your code and in here now we can cancel it so just press ctrl c so it will close the server and after that if i go to the website and restart it you can see we can't access our localhost okay so go back to your vs code and after that let's create our flutter application for that i have opened another vs code so in here let's say ctrl shift p and after that flutter new project application select the path and after that name so it will be our node tutorials and just press enter so it will create a flutter project for us okay so the project is created let's remove everything first of all we need to remove this home screen and the home property also and this too okay so after that this is the code remaining just go to lib 
new and in here let's create a home dot dot and in here we need to create a stateful widget and name it home screen and after that let's return a scaffold in which we will return an apper apper and after that in the body i will use a column so for the children i will just use my elevated button here and the on press will be empty and for the text it will, sorry for the child it will be a text widget and now we need to create the crud methods here and now let's create it as get so or i will just say create okay so this is our create button and after that copy it and this will be our read it will be our update and it will be our delete method okay so we have created these four buttons and on the press of each button we want to perform these functionalities means if we click on the create button we want to create some data in our backend and after that if we click on the read button we want to read some data from our backend and same goes for update and delete okay so to access the data from our backend we will create our apis which will be rest apis so to use those apis in our flutter application we need to use a package which is http so just go to android app build.gradle and in here we need to set our compile sdk version as 33 and after that set the minimum SDK version as 21 and after that target as 33 also and just save it and after that we need to add our HTTP package so for that we need to say control shift P and after that add dependency and in here we need to type HTTP and just press enter so it will download the HTTP package so just wait for it and now it's done go to popspec.yaml to confirm and as you can see it is added okay so we have successfully set up our node.js and our flutter application so that's it for today in the next video we will discuss how to create the api so we can perform the current operations on our backend so if you like this video press that like button and subscribe to the channel so see you in the next one till that allah is.